products for snack attacks plus WWAN today on Mima McLiving Healthy. Stay tuned. Hello. Like I said earlier, today's topic is products for snack attacks plus WWAN. How did I do today? Did I keep on my track of maintenance? I'll tell you after I do the product reveal for today. Today I decided that I was going to show you things that are almost no-brainers in snacks, but put a little bit of a different spin on it by showing you how I not only eat these snacks, but I embellish them just a little bit so that they are more flavorful or they have better uh, taste than just bland fruits and vegetables. You see, that is the product reveal for today. It's not a product that I'm sure we don't all have access to, different kinds during different parts of the year, but if you add just a few little tweaks to it, it will be something that you actually look forward to instead of saying, oh, all I've got is fruits or vegetables to eat. I'm gonna give you just a few tips today on how to make the most of these low personal points or low calorie snacks. Now I've got me some notes over here. And so when I am trying to remember whatever it is I'm saying, I'll be looking over here at my notes because this is an important video to me. I hear people all the time talking about snacks and these kind of processed foods and these kind of processed foods, which I do eat some of. But for the most part, my snacks are as low in personal points as I can get them. And most of the time, that means fruits and vegetables, non-starchy vegetables. So let's get started. I want to, first of all, talk about making a plan. You know, before you ever get started in the day, before you think, what am I going to eat today? Have a plan in place. Now, if you don't have any fruits and vegetables in your house, you're going to reach for whatever you do have in your house which may end up being sweets or potato chips or an unusual amount of pretzels like what I caught myself doing last year and the year before. So now I've learned I've got to have a plan. So before I ever go to the grocery stores, I make sure that I have fruits, vegetables, and these little added extra things on my list so that I will purchase them and have them on hand. Another thing I always try to do is for me, I get the easiest for me to be able to eat the quickest. Now, if I can't find some that is already pre-cut, pre-washed, pre-fixed, that all I have to do is open a lid on a plastic container to have access to it, then I make sure that before I ever put it in the refrigerator or wherever I'm going to store it, I wash it, I cut it up, and get it ready. Because if I wait and say, oh, I'll just make it when I'm wanting the snack, I will always turn toward the quick snacks, which are usually processed foods. So that's very important for me anyway, that I need a plan, that I need to think ahead before I'm in the midst of it. 
Now, I've already shared with you what my favorite snack attack products are. They're fruits. They're vegetables. They cover the gambit of whether I want something sweet or whether I want something salty or savory. And the fruits, I'll do the fruits first. The fruits that I truly like to have on hand are, this is my number one. I came close to running out of this this morning, but I, got, I went to the grocery store at lunch and I got me some bananas. Now, not everyone will say, oh, bananas have a lot of sugar in them. Well, they do, but guess what? They're still zero points. So bananas is always in my house. Sometimes I've had to eat pretty ripe ones, but they're always in my house. And the way that I prepare them, I've shared this several times, is I'll put, I'll prepare a couple of tablespoons of the PB2 powdered peanut butter and basically just spread it on a banana and eat it like that. And it's all I need to satisfy that craving. And see, in that instant, I actually not only get a sweet treat, but the peanut butter gives me a little bit of a salty treat mixed in with it, so I cover both bases on that one snack. And I, I don't always have the PB2 prepared, but that takes about maybe two minutes for me to prepare. And so it's not anything that I feel like, oh, I, I've got to have plenty of that already made up because I, ha I always have a jar of the powdered peanut butter available and I usually can wait two minutes before I feel like I have to have that snack. So that's the first one. I also try to always have apples, Golden Delicious in particular, and um, grapes. My favorites for right now are red seedless grapes and it's one of my favorites and I have a two-fold purpose for grapes because years and years ago, when I first started Weight Watchers, I had a lot of problems with regularity. I hate to be TMI, but I did. And I found that grapes was the best answer for that problem. And so I have a two-fold reason for the grapes. And then today, what I have got here ready to be eaten is a prepackaged, cut up little bitty nuggets or whatever you call them, little bitty slices of pineapple. Now, if you love to cut a pineapple up on your own, great. I don't. So if I can find these prepackaged pineapple nuggets, that's what I get. And then what I do is I get about two tablespoons. Now this is the Light and Fit Vanilla Greek Yogurt. You know, it, it comes in a bigger container. Normally, the containers that the Light and Fit comes in is 5.3 ounces. And it is two personal points for the whole container. So, when you have two tablespoons, of this light and fit Greek yogurt, it's zero. It's no points whatsoever. So what I'll do is I'll sit down and I'll get me some of these little pineapples and dip it in there real good. And after about four, maybe five of the little nuggets, I'm fine. That's my sweet snack attack. So if I'm wanting something sweet, this covers that base, as does sliced apples or the um, red grapes. You know, anything that I have on hand that I have already prepared and ready to eat, because this took me, I, I get the vanilla yogurt in a bigger carton and it, it took me all of um, one big spoonful 
to prepare this. I usually don't put it in a little cup like this. I usually just put it on a paper plate and then dip it in it, but I thought I would be fancy today and do that. Uh, now, I also want to share that not only is it good for snack attacks, but before all this craziness that we've been going through these last two years, we had a lot of fellowship suppers at my church. Uh, there for a while we were having them every Wednesday night. And so I had to have a plan, like I said earlier, on what I was going to do when I saw all these people eating these uh, high-pointed desserts. So what I would do is I would get about this amount of whatever Greek yogurt I wanted that night, and it was usually either the vanilla or the toasted coconut, and put it in a little container, take it with me to church, and take some seedless grapes, maybe some pineapples, strawberries, which I love strawberries, especially this time of year. If you get a chance to get any strawberries from Plant City, Florida right now, jump on it. They are delicious. It's almost like eating candy. And I never thought that about strawberries until I had those from Plant City, and they are. They're delicious. And that's what I would take, different kinds of fruit, you know, cut up, so that I would eat that as a dessert and not feel deprived because I like it so much. You know, and I compared what two tablespoons of this vanilla Greek yogurt is. It's zero. Even if I decided to put a tablespoon of the light um, Cool Whip and add it with it, which I've done that before too, the most it's going to be is one personal point. And then whatever fruit I've got is going to be zero. And if uh, I eat two, those two tablespoons plus another tablespoon of the light Cool Whip, I'm only eating one personal point. Now, if I had two tablespoons of that cream cheese dip that has cream cheese and powdered sugar and all that good stuff in it, that is four personal points just for two tablespoons. It's four personal points. So it, it's a no-brainer for me to go with one personal point or four. No-brainer. Okay, now that was the fruit side. The savory side, or however you want to call it, the salty side, are fresh vegetables. Now, I've been very fortunate. I've shown this in previous um, videos, so I didn't get them out today. I keep on hand uh, broccoli and cauliflower already cut up. I buy it already cut up. Yes, it is expensive, but for me to stay this weight, if I have to pay a couple of extra dollars a week on already prepared vegetables, I'll do it. If I can't find them, which, you know, sometimes during the year I can't, I will get what I can get and prepare them ahead of time. I can't wait until the snack attack hits me. I have to be prepared. And this morning I was able to find, now this is actually a fruit, but I call it a vegetable because it's not sweet. And it's grape tomatoes. And this has been a lifesaver for me so many times over the last eight years. When I wanted a salty or savory snack, this or cauliflower nearly always fit that bill. Now, did I eat them alone? Yeah, sometimes I did. Sometimes I had to because I wanted something so quickly and I needed it then and I didn't want to get processed food. So anyway, this is what I try to have on hand, already made up in my refrigerator that goes with that cauliflower, broccoli, or the grape tomatoes. And it's, this is Chobani non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Now, I don't buy the great big old containers of it because I was wasting a lot of it. So I buy these small containers. They too are a little over five ounces. And even though 
this is not my zero point food right now. It's still, for this whole carton, it's only two personal points. So if, I'm, if I make up something that is a little more than this, it maybe is going to be one point. And I'll explain that in just a minute. I actually did a video of what I'm about to talk about, my ranch dip. Um, it was probably over a year ago. I don't know exactly when I made it, but I will put it in the corner, whatever corner that shows up. I can't ever remember because it's just the opposite of what I think it's going to be. So it's probably this corner. And I'll put that video there, the link to it, so that you can find it and watch it. But pretty much it's one tablespoon of the Hidden Valley Ranch Seasoning Mix, two tablespoons of the non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and one tablespoon of Hellman's Light Mayonnaise. I didn't bring that in here, but it's very easy to find. For a tablespoon, it's one personal point. And so when you mix all that together, for, it ends up being somewhere around three to four tablespoons of product, and it's one personal point. So I can eat cauliflower, broccoli, these grape tomatoes, which are delicious, especially this is called handy candy. I can't get it year round, but when I can get it, I, I get it because it's very handy. It's already washed. I don't have to do anything but open it up and eat it. And so I will get the, let's pretend this is the ranch dip. I'll dip it down in it and that too will curb my snack attack for salty or savory foods. So these were my products for today. I also, if you have products that you like that are almost zero personal points or very, very low in calorie, I would appreciate your input. So be sure and leave a comment about it down below. By the way, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe too and uh, give me a thumbs up. I'm not through with the video. I haven't said the, my way in for today yet. So don't, don't go to the next video yet. <laughs> but Anyway, if you have your own idea of a low point, low calorie, savory or sweet snack, please put it in the comments below. Now, on to my weigh in for today. Anyway, to get back to the snack attacks, I thought of one other thing I did want to mention, and it is if you find yourself just convinced that you have to have a higher personal point or higher calorie snack. Savor each bite because it's costing you more points than if you had some fruit or if you had some raw vegetables. So savor it. Enjoy it because you might not have it again for a while. And I also want you to think of something when you're eating it. Wow, I could have had twice as much of a snack and it be zero personal points if I'd just gone with fruit or vegetables. It never hurts to learn from an experience that you've experienced. So always try to, if you're going to, go a little overboard, learn from it. That's the only way you'll succeed over years and years. Don't continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. It's so doable if you just plan for it. One last thing, don't mindlessly eat anything. Make a conscious decision to eat. Don't be watching TV. Don't be reading a book while you're eating. Look at it and enjoy it.
Okay, now let's go on to my weigh-in for this week. As I shared last week, I felt like that I'd had a relatively good maintenance couple of weeks. I'd gone up a pound one week and then back down to the exact same weight last week that I had been two weeks before. Now, last Thursday, I weighed in at 116.4. What did I weigh this morning? I am happy to say I weighed 116.0 pounds. That means I lost four tenths of a pound. Now, I didn't really care whether I lost or gained four tenths of a pound, but I'm so happy that that's the case, that I stayed within a half a pound of what I was last Thursday. If I'd have been 116.8, I would have been just as happy as I am at 116.0 because that is maintenance at its best. Now, I did weigh on Mondays. Like I said, I'm not telling you how much I weigh on Mondays anymore. I was up again as I normally am, and that helped me to gauge to draw back, but just a little because I was, I was only up about a pound and a half. And so I thought, well, you know, if I can bring that down a half a pound, I'll be fine. I would have been fine to be back in that 117.4 like I was two weeks ago. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be in this range right now because I'm eating a lot of what I want to eat. I'm not depriving myself of anything. Uh, I had a lot of food last week, and that's why I was up a pound or so after the weekend. But during the week, I had a lot of food, but I made better choices and brought it down just a little bit to where now I'm only a half a pound less than I was last Thursday. Like I said earlier, if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, Leave a comment below and share with whoever you think might like these ideas about snack attacks. Until next time, goodbye.